Yes. Professor Patente, you may please start. Thank you, uh, Professor Anil. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ramakrishna Pedinti from Department of Chemistry. The Institute Lecture Series Committee of Indian Institute of Technology Roorkee is glad to organize Institute Lectures based on Nobel Prize 2021 in the fields of Physics, Chemistry, Medicine and Economics. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all this evening on behalf of the Institute Lecture Series Committee, IIT Roorkee, for today's lecture based on 2021 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. We are fortunate to have with us Professor D.B. Ramachari of University of Hyderabad, the speaker of this guest lecture. Professor Ramachari graduated with MSc degree in School of Chemistry from University of Hyderabad and obtained his doctoral degree in synthesis synthetic organic chemistry from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore in 2021. He subsequently held postdoctoral position at the Scripps Research Institute for Catalysis prior to joining University of Hyderabad in January 2005, where presently he is full professor of organic chemistry. He is a recipient of many awards, including Fellow of National Academy of Sciences, Allahabad 2021, Fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry, London 2020, and Fellow of Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore 2018. He has guided uh, 17 PhD students and 13 PDFs, and out of them, four doctoral students got Lilly and Company Asia Outstanding Thesis Awards in the years 2011, 12, 13, and 14. He is, a, he is an editorial advisory board member of Organic Biomolecular Chemistry, OBC, an RSC journal from 2013 to present, editorial advisory board member of European Journal of Organic Chemistry, EJOC, a Wiley journal, 2017 to present, Professor Ramachari published more than 100 research papers in both national and international journals of repute, two books on emerging organic catalysis area, and a few chemical reactions are named after him. Professor Ramachari delivered more than 100 lectures in both national and international conferences. With this, I invite Professor Ramachari to start his uh, lecture. Uh, thank you, Professor Ramakrishna Garu, for your kind introduction. Uh, first, I, my sincere thanks to uh, Institute Lecture Series, uh, Dr. Anil Kumar, Dr. Ramu Yadav, and Professor Ramakrishna Pethinti, and Professor Justin of the Department of uh, Chemistry from IIT Roorkee for inviting me this. Uh, I'm going to share my slide. Yeah. Oh, Sir Ramakrishna, you're able to see the slide? Yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you once again for uh, inviting me uh, to deliver a lecture on, uh, uh, on asymmetric organocatalysis. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, this year is a Nobel Committee recognize the Chemistry Nobel Prize for Asymmetric Organocatalysis, and Professor Benjamin Lees and Professor David McMillan, both got, both shared the Nobel Prize of this year, Chemistry Nobel Prize. Um, what is the asymmetric organocatalysis? Is the asymmetric organocatalysis is, is going to tell that uh, simple organic molecule, like amino acid or amino acid derivative that you would in, or uh, another small organic molecule acted as a catalyst to perform uh, reactions between simple substrate to make highly chiral molecules with with high selectivity, like that may be enhancer selectivity, or diastereo selectivity, or stereo uh, chemo selectivity. What and all organic chemists look for the selectivity, able to control those reactions, uh, and for that, uh, 
for that uh, uh, this year is recognized the Nobel Prize for this work. And before that, uh, 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 the so, so before that, many organometal complexes able to utilize for those synthetic transformations. But what is the main difference between a previous synthetic method like using organometal complexes or enzymes or using as a small molecule? Uh, I'm going to discuss about these aspects. Uh, for the explaining purpose, I made this uh, organocatalysis era classification in three era. The pre-organocatalysis period, or organocatalysis period, or post-organocatalysis period. So first, I would like to tell you that uh, 1954 to 1988, as a 1998, this, I can take it as a pre-organocatalysis period. Uh, any, you know, any subject you, when you, when you today, when you see the high development, it didn't, it don't come as overnight. It has a long journey to come the today what we are seeing. How it started this organocatalysis? In my point of view, I can say in 1954 or 1950s, it started uh, uh, this beauty of organocatalysis, I can say, as uh, one of the pioneers in organic chemistry, uh, Professor Gilbert Store uh, from US, he able to develop this uh, preformed enamine species. These enamines, he, 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 he able to prepare from the uh, pyrrolidin, simple amine, using carbonyl. Uh, cyclic or acyclic ketones and able to treat these two in presence of bronsted acid able to make this enamine this enamine see tested the reactivity of this enamine in alkylation reaction or acylation reaction or michael reaction and after this chemistry once you treat with water in presence of same bronsted acid you can idolize this immunium species and gives to the corresponding alkylated compound or acylated compound or Michael addict then along with the amines. And this started practicing in organic chemistry in different reactions like alkylation and all. And also organic chemists, especially in the time of Woodward, Professor Woodward, he able to use this artificial amine acid. If you take the pyrrolidine and the combination of acetic acid or benzoic acid, they'll call, you can call it as artificial amino acid. Those amino amine acid combination used as a catalyst to have aldal condensation reaction or Robinson relation reaction, and they used to use in total synthesis, especially Woodward used it in vitamin B12 synthesis, the reaction condition. In that time, uh, in 1970, uh, Ajaz Paris is, 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 is Ajaz Paris from the German, he used to work in the German uh, industry. And he knows about the utilization of the uh, pyrrolidin, uh, pyrrolidin acetic acid combination to make the ALA reaction. He has taken the natural amino acid uh, proline, is a catalytic amount in DMF solvent. He has taken this trichetone like this and he, he investigated the intramolecular ALA reaction. And, and very as he expected, chemistry went to intramolecular ALA reaction. When you see enantiomer selectivity, they are able to get a 93% enantiomer excess. It's a single, almost 93% single enantiomer. After hydrolysis of this tertiary alcohol, you able to get the uh, enone. This is the CD ring of the steroids. They used to go take this material and go investigate on the uh, steroid synthesis. And the, almost the same time, Ajaz Paris in 1971, patent and 1974, a full paper they published. Almost the same time, Eder Saar Richard from other German company, they also investigated this reaction, almost using l as a catalyst in DMF solvent. And in C2, they added the HClO4, the Bronsted acid to hydrolyze to make the uh, same Ajaz Paris ketone in one part more. So that's why people we call as a Ajaz Paris Eder Saar Richard reaction. This is the first catalytic asymmetric reaction. And this is the first catalytic asymmetric reaction. They were able to use the really large scale synthesis of the CD ring and go on to use in steroid synthesis. But uh, uh, the, for, for, for organic chemists, if you want to expand this subject to further, others has to enter into this field and others has to utilize this reaction. You need to explain the reaction mechanism. There, Ajas used two models like this. One, one of the model he told is yes, the so proline is going to make the enamine and the carboxylic anion able to make the amino type like this 
and on h on the nitrogen is going to do hydrogen bond with carbonyl it is going to form like that this is another model no 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 it is not forming enamine and is a proline is forming aminal with one of the carbonyl carbon and then carboxylic acid h is having hydrogen bonding with oh and the other side is the enol is forming enol h is having hydrogen bonding with amine and this is the way is controlling the facial selectivity this is the ajash models he proposed in 1974 in in zeoji full paper later from the 1980s from the french chemist professor agami he came out no 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 is not a single proline is involved in this reaction he mentioned the two proline are involving one proline is making the enamine enamine formation as another proline is involving to bring the carbonyl and amine close to control the facial selectivity and he has uh, some kinetic data to support is the two proline involvement in the pre transition state our indian chemist professor you know uh, professor uh, swaminathan from university of madras in 1998 99 he proposed that no 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 is not is involving enamine formation only the crystal surface of the proline is involving to form the robinson annihilation between uh, all the intermolecular alloy between uh, acetyl carbonyl and is another carbonyl between these two this is the way he proposed and well and other rest of the organic chemists did not convince this they are not convinced from this reaction models and not utilize this reaction further for other reaction development also same time is the villan mischer ketone this villan mischer ketone is is that is like this is the decaline system this is the ab ring of the steroids and the villan mischer able to synthesize this racemic compound they used to use in uh, steroid synthesis but later ajas paris reaction condition they utilized on same well proline on the substrate to make the asymmetric dissymmetrization to make this uh, uh, ab ring of the steroid to in good e and good e and one single crystallization able to give single anion soma and this is the one of the very good starting material for the many natural product synthesis i have reported it. i have shown few molecules here and more than 50 natural products are they uh, used as total synthesis from starting from the villan mischer ketone in this papers also and um, the same similar mechanism not given the clear cut mechanism uh, that is from this ajash from the german company and i am very happy to say here in 1989 from the ucla professor michael e jung he published one paper in tetrahedral letters is this he has taken the chiral amine like this and treated with the corresponding acid chloride he formed the amide and treating with the trithal with the uh, ethyl borate and able to make the iminium species and he realized that uh, iminium species are more reactive in diel sarder reaction compared to corresponding uh, uh, enones or enols or nitriles or whatever conjugated species conjugated species with electron in the drying group compared to them this iminium species are more react and he able to treat with cyclopentadiene as a diene salt and able to get in 0 degree centigrade within 12 hours he able to get the cycloadic uh, 4 plus cycloadic then after this chemistry he want to remove this chiral axillary and he put hydrolysis and lithium element reduction of the corresponding one he able to get the alcohol and he did the hplc analysis of the able to get the 85% enantiomer hexes but some of michael jeng is not uh, unhappy of the removal of this chiral axillary and he didn't work on further on this reaction where he showed how this iminium species are excellent dienophiles in both plus cyclohexane synthesis this is happened in 1989 i have given you a citation and in continuation uh, we have seen very nice excellent paper from the, uh, uh, the russian organic chemist Cerebro from the Zelensky Institute of Organic Chemistry, Moscow. He published in 1998. He able to make the asymmetric Diels-Sarder reaction through in situ generation of the catalytic dienamides. By the time already the enders and all knows how to generate these enamide species from the carbonyl and uh, chiral axillary. But here uh, the Cerebro used the 10 mole percent of this DPPOH. 
This is called diphenyl proline. Diphenyl proline. This we can synthesize from the corresponding proline using Grignard addition. Phenyl Grignard addition. He has taken 10 mole percent of this, and he has taken the prenol like this, alpha beta and aldehyde and dimethyl, and he has taken the monomethyl uh, alkylyl melanoids like this as a dinophile source. Then after 168 hours, he are able to see. Uh, is able to see here a uh, very nice uh, uh, cyclohexadiene where containing single uh, chiral center. It's almost a single enantiomer with 40% yield. You know how it chemistry when he proposed very nicely that the catalyst is reacting with this and forming the immunium species. And after the immunium species is going, the epim is, is a kind of uh, removal of the H and forming the uh, I, uh, double bond isomerization to make this one amino one three beta diene, and this is the homo activated diene source, and this is the dinophile between this diene and dinophile. It taken place a concentrated four plus cycloaddition and able to get this uh, cycloaddict. After the cycloaddict and the catalyst has to eliminate, it has to regenerate to again has to go to catalytic cycle. And here this decarboxylation has taken place because of the steric entrance of the molecule. The decarboxylation has taken place and here is the DPPOH is eliminated and able to make give the product with 99.9% E and catalyst degenerated. Again, it went on to the reaction. This is the very excellent paper on generation and demonstration of the one amino one three beta diets. Well. So, in the same time, in the same time in 1990s, or the 1990 to 1998 and 1990s, the full decade is one of the beautiful uh, time for the uh, development and understanding of the catalytic antibodies uh, from the University of, uh, uh, from, the, uh, from the US California, especially the, the, the Scripps Research Institute. TSRA, especially Professor Carlos Barbas, Professor Lerner, Professor Peter Sulz. They are really developed the catalytic antibodies is how good those antibodies uh, to uh, study and involve in catalytic reaction, especially in one of the catalytic antibody is the one of the very good amount of the isotropic space is there. The pocket is there in the pocket is the one of the amino acid lysine amino acid that lysine amino acid uh, on one of the primary amine NH2. It can react with the carbonyls and form the catalytic enamine. And those enamines act as the nucleophiles to involve is another carbonyl. If you take, they have taken this in situ generation of the catalytic uh, enamines from uh, 38C2, antibody 38C2, and went on react with the different carbonyls and they explore the aldol reaction, a retro aldol reaction, or aldol condensation, self aldol condensation, or Robinson annihilation. So they investigated and they able to see excellent enhancement selectivity and they able to uh, demonstrate this reaction mechanism is like that. As the, on the lysine amino acid, the primary amine will react with the carbonyl, will form the enamine, and another carbonyl will come close with close proximity, will go allal reaction after elimination, will get the beta hydroxy ketone, will eliminate as a product with high enhancement selectivity. And they 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 have discussed very used nicely in Robinson annihilation, especially to make the Vilan Vishal ketone, Ajaspar ketones also. And during this time, a Carlos Barbas able to see in 1971, 72, 73, proline catalyzed asymmetric dismetration of the triketones, and he is fully aware of the antibody 38 seed reaction mechanism. And in 1999, he able to have a, a professor, uh, Dr. Benjamin List, Professor Lerner, Professor Carlos Barbas. They three investigated. They taken the common substrate like this diketone, and they investigated the antibody 38 C2 and L proline in, in, in the antibody 38 C2 taken within two days, able to give 98, 95% conversion with almost 42, 46% yield. Proline taken a little bit more time, and able to produce almost similar yield. And from their knowledge on antibody 38C2, they realized that L proline also definitely is going to take place in enamine mechanism only. 
they understood that clearly that it is going through enamel mechanism and they realized why don't they why don't they check the intermolecular version of this reaction so benjamin list and carla barbas lerner they demonstrated intermolecular version of this proline catalyzed aldol reaction they have taken little bit excess of the acetone with the different uh, benzaldehydes in dmso and they able to see very nicely formation of the aldol products with almost 77 to 96% enantiomeric excess with very good yields and with that their uh, uh, in 2000 the first they the intermolecular version of this paper published in 2000 and it came on 2001 full paper with a different uh, catalyst investigation different solvent investigation and they able to propose the tra pre transition studies like that so proline is in what reacting with the carbonyl acetone because this is we are taking a little bit excess in forming the enamine and on this enamine is the carboxylic h this h is dictating the incoming electrophile this incoming electrophile come can come same side of the carboxylic or opposite side of the carboxylic acid if it is coming same side of the carboxylic acid and h can involve hydrogen bonding with this carbonate to induce the electrophilic nature of the carbonate by inducing the electrophilic nature of the carbonate and the rate of the reaction can increase also same time phase control phase selectivity can control by this hydrogen bonding that's why it is going almost 96 percent the refacial attack to make the single enantiomer almost the same time they have taken the hydroxy acetone hydroxy acetone also chemistry went very nicely with the single enantiomer with high diastereo selectivity with high rhizo selectivity very good yield. and 2000 2001 they established it very nicely uh, highly enantio selective intermolecular allal reaction at the same time in the 2001 they in the carlos barbas able to try to see how this proline now you know proline able to do catalytic enamine formation able to go allal reaction and what about uh, uh, other reactions he immediately is, he is more fashionable to start investigating on this reaction and they treated proline mediated estone addition to nitrostyrene yes chemistry went very nicely but it formed very racemic bond there is no enantiomer control to keeping in the mind instead of thinking about the hydrogen bonding activation of the carboxylic he converted the carboxylic acid to a different amine group like this to induce the steric in ranks and, and uh, they treated the aldehyde and uh, addition to nitrostyrene to enamine chemistry able to achieve up to 9, 78% e with good diastereo selectivity. Syn addition is more compared to anti-addition, almost very good yield. At the same time, uh, by the time the Benjamin List also became an independent researcher and he started his career in Scripps Research Institute, he also started investigating uh, his organocatalytic reaction uh, and he also investigated cyclic ketones as the donors to the Michael addition of nitrostyrene. He also observed that good diastereo selectivity is there, but uh, enantiomer selectivity is not that much. And immediately, in next year, 2000, uh, in 2000, and Benjamin List he able to come out with one of the excellent uh, three-component reaction for the manic reaction to perform under proline catalysis. He has taken 35 percent of the proline DMSO. He has taken the donor of the uh, acetone or uh, substituted acetone or uh, aryl aldehyde and uh, paramethoxy aniline paramethoxy aniline will form imine with this one will form the imines and the proline will react with the donor carbonyl to make the enamine like that and the enamines able to react to imines highly selective manner almost a single enantiomer single diastereomer with very good yield here the C phase of the imine is attacked on this enamines. Here, see, here also say nitrogen is involving nitrogen bonding with uh, carboxylic H, where this uh, carboxylic H is controlling the facial control of the facial selectivity of the imine. It is coming same side of the carboxylic. That is why we are able to see high. E. And 2000, he published in communication of this uh, three component reaction. In 2002, he published a full paper where he fully investigated uh solvent factor catalyst factor loading other substrates 
is a very beautiful paper almost the same time the carlos barbas also he came on and he able to use the three formed imines like this from ethyl glands he from he taken this imine and he taken the different aldehydes as a donor with 5 mole percent of the catalyst where aldehydes are more react to react with the enamine formation proline he has taken 5 mole percent and in dioxane he able to make this kind of manic adducts with very good yield and very good uh, enantiomeric excess and diastereo selectivity he has taken ketones also where the ketones are little less reactive with proline there he has taken 20 mole percent here also made but one of the beauty of this uh, adducts are almost a single enantiomer came and here these are like a, a protected amino acid these are artificial amino acid you can hydrolyze the ester uh, remove the pmp you can able to make this all uh, the artificial amino acid to go for medicinal applications and all and 2002 and uh, this manic uh, chemistry really given a very good uh, uh, as energy or into to many chemists to uh, believe that as a proline is doing really miracle uh, to create the asymmetric reactions in almost uh, uh, in, the, in the same next 2002 in next year uh, immediately carlos barbas able to plan able to design the other catalyst where you can able to make anti-selective manic reaction with almost decent uh, e and very good dr you can see that because instead of carboxylic acid we take ome and here enamine uh, formation uh, enamine orientation the conformal change and able to produce with the um, anti adduct also use the little bit water amount also one is to nine water th they also investigated what are how much facilitating this enamine imine formation uh, uh, after the chemistry war how it is helping to uh, recycle the proline uh, in terms of what he investigated this reaction also same time uh, is uh, carlos is very passionate to investigate the uh, more uh, one part organo asymmetric reaction he believes that if the proline is able to catalyze the reaction and is not going to spoil the other reaction why don't we perform another reaction so in one part more first you made the proline catalyzed asymmetric manic reaction followed by addition of the uh, diethylamylins nitride be able to make cyanation in one part more or if you little increase the temperature can able to go cyclization of this one where is a where the showed is the medicinal application of this product well, in 2002, at the Benjamin List, uh, he explored the uh, is the other version of the electrophile. Here, once you understand the proline able to make the uh, catalytic enamines from the carbonyl, and they try to investigate as many as uh, other electrophiles where you can able to understand the uh, enantio selective bond formation. They he came out with the excellent enantio selective emination of the alpha portion of the aldehyde. You can see here, he able to do uh, diethylazo dicarboxylate or uh, dibenzylazo dicarboxylate as an amine source and form the enamine. Is this is the free transition state? He explained very nicely uh, the formation of the and in situ uh, sodium reduction able to get the amino alcohols, very good yield and very good selectivity. Almost the same year. Professor Jorgensen from Denmark uh, he is a well known organic chemist who developed many asymmetric reactions using copper, uh, copper catalyst and all. And he inspired by seeing this uh, organocatalysis, a proline catalyzed reaction. He able to enter in this field and he developed first asymmetric aldol reaction between aldehydes and diethyl ketomelanin. I didn't show here diethyl ketomelanin aldol reaction he published in Chemcom 2002. And in 2002, immediately he came out. He also uh, worked in his project the emination of the carbonyls in presence of catalytic amount of proline to make the uh, chiral amines, uh, chi uh, chiral amine carbonyls. He used the aldehydes. He used it, published in Jax 2002 with ketones. He published in Angavante 2002. Almost the same time, uh, Benjamin List and Jorgensen published this work. In, 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 
in the 2002. Well, in 2003, uh, Carla is able to utilize this emination chemistry and aldol chemistry uh, in one part more to produce the more functionalized compound. First, aldehyde is going is uh, amine addition and followed by a stone aldol addition of the corresponding aldehyde. They are functionally rich chiral aldehydes. How it is involving in all our reaction, we investigated and we were able to show the medicinal application of those products to prepare the renin inhibitor. And in 2003, and from the Benjamin Lace, by the time I think he moved from the California uh, scripts to uh, Max Planck Institute, from there he able to demonstrate a highly useful reaction. He, he, he see, this is the enol endo aldolization. Enol and aldolization normally taken place in um, more reaction like we have seen Ajax Paris or Gilad mission. What about the enol exoaldolization? How this chemistry? If the enol endo transient state is going like this, if the proline enamine formed like that, this H is going hydrogen bonding like this, if this is the way it is going on. If it is goes enol exo, and this confirmation is really is suitable to induce the uh, carbonyl by hydrogen bonding. Whether it can able to achieve the enol selectivity. He beautifully designed the reaction and he designed the different uh, dialdehydes like this. We are able to see here. And he treated the 10 mole percent of proline in DCM room temperature. We are able to see uh, excellent uh, cyclic uh, hydroxy carbonyls in very good yield and very good DR, almost single enol show. And the really, uh, this uh, paper is really given. Uh, uh, very good into to further design uh, a similar kind of different reactions also same time in 2003 is one of the one of the best year for organocatalysis is the is the benjamin list uh, collaboration with ken huck from the ucla they did the excellent quantum mechanical predictions of the stereo selectivities of proline catalyzed asymmetric intermolecular reaction this is the intermolecular reaction phase two on the different aldehydes. They investigated thoroughly how many different confirmations and different approaches, uh, whether hydrogen bonding, how much is involving in hydrogen bonding with this carboxylic H with carbonyl and R group, whether it should be away from the system or from the inside. All they thoroughly they investigated, they came out that 3A, and this is the most possible low energy pathway where if you reaction goes on this intermediate this free transition state you can able to achieve the high enol selectivity. almost the same year 2003 another breakthrough paper published by benjamin list and kn huck collaboration and they studied really as a kinetic and stereochemical evidence for the involvement of only one proline molecule in the transition states of proline catalyst intra and intermolecular reaction is uh, this is the classical Ajax Paris ketone synthesis, and this is the uh, Barbas laced Lenor Aldal reaction, and this is the way they proposed the Agami proposed like this, and uh, Barbas laced Huck proposed like this, and Barbas is proposed like this. And this completely they investigated in this paper uh, very nicely. This uh, graph is going to tell they instead of the on formation to proline, they used the uh, retro aldolization reaction to understand the reaction kinetics by using the proline uh, catalyst loading and reaction rate. They didn't see any nonlinear effects. Also, same time, absence of nonlinear effects in the adjustment salt richard reaction, they have investigated here by changing the different the catalyst loading, different uh, EE of the catalyst and the product E they have seen they are also not observed any nonlinear effects. They also seen did not see any nonlinear effects in absence of dilution effects on the enhancer selective. Different dilution they performed uh, these two reactions. Uh, here also they didn't see any nonlinear effect. They did excellent kinetic and uh, silicon studies and they proposed that uh, in this paper the single proline is involving and in Ajax Paris, Villan Tisha, Villan or Ajax Paris HR reaction. This is the transient state is involving where uh, proline is involving enamine from the acyclic carbonyl and carboxylic acid 
H is involving hydrogen bonding with one of the carbonyl. That is the way this completely facial control is taking place to achieve high enantio selectivity. And this intermolecular reaction, same manner, one of the um, allyl donor is interacting with the MI to form enamine and the electrophil carbonyl, it is involving hydrogen bonding with the carboxylic H to control the facial selectivity. In 2003, these two papers established clearly the reaction mechanism for the proline catalyzed intra and intermolecular reactions. And in following year 2004, uh, Benjamin List able to come out uh, another, another beautiful asymmetric intramolecular alpha alkylation reaction. He designed the substrate, he designed the substrate like this, and he able to take the first proline. Uh, R is equal to H first proline in triethylamine chloroform at minus 30 degrees centigrade 24 hours. He able to get the product uh, very intramolecular enamine formation followed by alkylation intramolecularly, able to get 68% E. But immediately he realized the importance of the um, steric rigidity of the catalyst. Instead of H, immediately put the methyl and he went on to study, he able to achieve the 95% E, 92% within 24 hours. You can see that and be able to take the different uh, substrates and different substrate design and instigated the intramolecular alkylation reaction able to get a very good yield and very good yield. Well, in, in, in the Benjamin list in 2004 and 2005 and be able to understand the importance of for further understanding expansion of this uh, uh, M mine catalyzed reactions and be able to get simple catalyst like a dibenzylamine with TFA and be able to induce the imanium species of this corresponding enols and able to treat with this uh, angia sister able to treat with uh, angia sister like this and able to do hydrogenation and the similar one we use the macmillan i am going to discuss in the next slide this is the macmillan uh, second generation catalyst used to achieve the high enantiomer selectivity and this is the reaction mechanism, how the LUMO activated imanium species is able to interact with the angia sister to go involve the transfer hydrogenation to give the uh, chiral alleates like this. And also he demonstrated the tandem reaction like that. He designed the molecule like this with this uh, Macmillan catalyst uh, with this angia sister. First he reduced the double bond. Then once you reduce the double bond, first imanium species, and after addition, you form enamine, and that enamine went the intramol for Michael reaction to make this kind of indents in high selectivity. Excuse me. Dr. Ramakrishna Gauri, everything is okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Please, please go ahead. Thank you. So, uh, after this 2004, 2005 of this hydrogenation, uh very happy and the same time 2004 is the professor carlos no uh, I, I, I have seen his fashion how fashionable person he is he used to come and tell me in the bench uh, ramchari uh, why don't we generate more tough problem using organo catalysis using this mi so in organic chemistry normally organic chemistry will be, will be, they will feel a little challenge to generate the quaternary carbons in uh, synthetic transformation so if you take the disubstituted alleates and you make the enamine species with that, and then it go in uh, Michael or Allal reaction, that is the fashion. And we able to, the Masai from the Japan, that time he joined as a postdoc in his laboratory, and he able to handle this project, and he able to synthesize this uh, diamine catalyst like this, and he able to use 30 mole percent using TFA, the co-catalyst, in isopropanol at 4 degrees centigrade, be able to achieve the very good yield and uh, enantio selectivity, diastereo selectivity of quaternary carbon generated Michael addict from this subject. And immediately they investigated in all all reaction also by utilizing this kind of disubstitute alleas to generate the quaternary carbon generated uh, all all addicts in very, very good diastereo selectivity and enantio selectivity. I'm so happy to uh, see these results in 2004. At the same time, you utilize the manic reaction also, a symmetric manic reaction also generate the quaternary carbon and went on to utilize a, 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 in medicinal chemistry. 
and i joined in 2002 january in carlos laboratory and he told me that i have to develop the uh, homo activated 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction to achieve high enhancement selectivity the stereo selectivity he used to say i want to see only is uh, this reaction to develop and then i worked 3 years and i'm happy that we able to get some decent uh, selectivity yields of i developed the three component reaction We very plenty is available. The benzylidine and aryllidine acetone, and different aldehyde or actomethylene. Between these two, the catalyst will do no even agle condensation. You can generate the dienophile. This is a very good dieno dienophile. If the catalyst, this is the dimethyl thiazidine carboxylic acid. This is the amino acid, and this one react with this carbonyl. It first form the enamine species. Then will go isomerization to form enamine. And this is the enamine. This is the two amino. One three butyl diene. This is homo activated uh, diene, and this is diene of five. <coughs> Sorry, it goes uh, constructed four plus two cyclo addition, and followed by hydrolysis of this uh, ena enamine with water. You can regenerate the catalyst and form a single diastereomer and single enantiomer. Uh, able to develop this chemistry later. This chemistry is really inspired many organic chemists, especially Melchior from Europe and uh, Chen from the China. And many chemists used this reaction uh, for the development of the uh, different dienes, different dienophiles, and I'm very happy that uh, this is called Barbos for the sulfuration reaction. And that is the in 2000. To 2004, that is the story of the Barbas and Benjamin Lees, where they developed the proline catalyzed and proline derivative catalyzed asymmetric reaction. I will, here I would like to share with you another story from the uh, Caltech. At that time, uh, David McMillan started working from the Caltech, and he able to come out with the excellent design of the uh, Lumo activated uh, four plus two cyclo addition reaction. What the today we are calling as the Macmillan four plus two cycle addition. That is the Lumo activated chemistry. Is the Lumo activation how nicely designed? Uh, he has taken the very simple uh, phenylalanine amino acid and that he converted to the imidazolone catalyst like that. Is this imidazolone catalyst? This is the this is called as the first generation Macmillan catalyst. This first generation Macmillan catalyst in methanol water combination in, at room temperature. He has taken the enol. Uh, different enols with the cyclopentadiene or uh, acyclic diene able to produce the almost uh, one is to one ratio of the exo endo cyclo addition adducts with very good yield or uh, when you go when they use the acyclic one able to get the endo product as a major with very good yield and yield and with mmx mm3 calculation able to demonstrate how this free transition is going on this is the amino species where Uh, this enol will react with the amine to form amine species like that, and this benzyl group will have a benzyl and this methyl having the top area completely shielded by this uh, uh, benzyl group, and completely is coming the diene, uh, the diene source from the only bottom side, C phase. That is the reason we are able to achieve the high enantiomer selectivity. This is published as the first 2000 in Jacks. I think this this paper came from the University of California Berkeley. I think this paper. And the later he moved to the Caltech, and immediately he able to realize the importance of the selenium activation. He able to generate the enantio selective organic and one three dipolar cycloaddition. He is also able to demonstrate very good cycloaddition chemistry, very good diastereo selectivity and enantio selectivity. He able to explain the reaction free transition state. And he able to come out with another reaction where he able to use the Friedel-Crafts assay alkylation reaction. He has taken the functional as a pyridine like this, and is an enol where he generated the amino species. And here he is when the Friedel-Crafts alkylation of these species is only bottom side, because the top is completely shielded and able to achieve high enantiomer selectivity and high yields. This is in 2001. At the same time, he able to synthesize the second generation catalyst. Instead of dimethyl, he put the tertiary butyl in only one side, and this has become more reactive catalyst. Where he went further with the uh, indoles as an donors of the enols to make the very good uh, Michael adducts and simple enolines. He has taken as a, uh, as a donors to go uh, to react with enols under uh, aluminium catalysis. 
to generate the high enantial selectivity and also make the instead of enol we have taken the ketones the uh, enones enones as the dienophile source with this third generation catalyst this is the third generation catalyst we able to achieve high enantial selectivity in 2002 in 2002 he came out to another one of the excellent uh, work on uh, cross aldol reaction he has taken the less sterically aldehyde as a donor little substituted aldehyde as a acceptors in presence of 10 mole percent of proline in dmf by slow addition of the donor to the acceptor he able to achieve high enantial selectivity very good diastereo selectivity of this aldol addicts that is a, this is the the free transition state at the same time using his his catalyst uh, is a third gen second generation catalyst also used to for the cross aldol reaction between different aldehydes a donor acceptors are they based on the substitution he able to achieve uh, very good uh, aldol products here i am very happy to say i didn't ex i didn't show here but in, in continuation of this cross aldol reaction he able to take the hydroxy substitute aldehydes various went on synthesizing the sugars in one part synthesis of sugars where he published a, a very good papers in nature and science and he able to demonstrate how this proline or imidazolone catalyst how simple and catalyst to generate the sugars in one part manner uh, in 2003 uh, macmillan came out one of the beautiful reaction where he did the asymmetric uh, oxidation chemistry he take the phenyl nitroso benzene is a nitroso benzene he has taken as a oxidant and able to achieve the high enantiomer selectivity this is the way reaction is going on almost the same time from the carlos group he is assistant professor group john he also published almost same time the angavetechemy the organocatalytic asymmetric oxidation by using uh, phenyl uh, nitroso benzene almost the same time and in 2006 we were able to see on a beautiful reaction from the kenji markova he able to design the catalyst of uh, vinyl based catalyst and able to see uh, exclusively asymmetric hydroxy amination here instead of the ox oxy amination it went to ammonox hydroxy amination is nitrogen attacked on that and uh, by simple synthetic transformation we can able to generate the uh, hydroxy amines from this subject and also uh, in 2004 uh, uh, macmillan developed the uh, one of the excellent uh, asymmetric chlorination reaction uh, you can see here slide using is uh, first generation catalyst using aldehyde able to generate the enamine here i have to say is not only forming enamine enamine also can generate based on the uh, counter uh, electrophile this uh, based on this electrophile is form the enamine is enamine to give a little time and enamine went on to attack on cl able to there is asymmetric chlorination he also further develop asymmetric chlorination also uh, in continuation so here i am happy to say 1999 to 2004 uh, carlos barbas benjamin list macmillan uh, and jargonson they established very nicely enamine catalytic enamine species a catalytic imenium species how important uh, to generate the catalytic bond formation for high enantiomer selectivity in aldol manic michael amination imenoxylation deals order reactions so once the area is established uh, from the 2005 onwards uh, is many people entered into this field to further to elaborate understand develop more sustainable aspects of the sargana catalysis and uh, i'm happy to say carlos barbas uh, he after the 2005 onwards he developed up to 2014 uh, so many reaction he very fashionable in, in asymmetric assembly reaction or application total synthesis or he developed the phosphine amine combination as a catalyst for the catalyst asymmetric triple cyclo addition he designed the mi donor for organo asymmetric michael reaction or uh, he developed so many asymmetric triple cyclo addition or uh, he able to develop the hydrogen bonding catalyst for cyclo addition uh, oh, with collaboration with uh, kn huck he developed the anti selective asymmetric manic reaction michael reaction 
those are the very beautiful papers in 2014 sorry 2000 i think 11 or 12 uh, he also developed the uh, threonine and the suitable acyclic amino acid for the beautiful asymmetric allyl reaction for different design substrate and is well known for the utilizing asymmetric assembly reaction for the uh, carbohydrates chemistry uh, because of time i cannot uh, share with you but i have I happy to request you to go through his website to see uh, his publications uh, same time macmillan he also developed the organo cascade catalysis catalysis and application total synthesis some of these beautiful total synthesis they are utilizing the uh, is reaction as a key step and he has developed asymmetric reduction asymmetric oxidation and also amine addition also same time uh, uh, same time he developed the organo catalytic somo activation and also merging the photo redox with organo catalysis these are two are the beautiful concepts and he developed the catalyst is is uh, commercialized the catalyst first generation second generation third generation please visit his website to see more uh, beauty of his work in asymmetric organo catalysis yes benjamin list he also developed a beautiful uh, powerful bronze acid catalysis for organo catalytic asymmetric reaction and he came out with the counter anion directed catalysis and asymmetric reduction and natural products and he commercialized these uh, highly valuable bronze acids in asymmetric uh, reactions please visit his website to see more uh, beautiful reactions very developed for the subject At the same time uh, the jorgensen from denmark he is uh, developed the beautiful ebenium heated reaction where he developed this catalyst uh, dpp otms catalyst and he went on to further elaborate this one amino triptyanes where sharapro developed in 1998 he started developing more on this and he developed further trienamines uh, tetrienamines also he developed some of his work is very beautiful where he demonstrated this uh, cycloaddition chemistry in long range induction in asymmetric induction in cycloaddition chemistry also he developed the beautiful asymmetric epoxidation i think you should see the paper where the sharpless is able to use allylic alcohol uh, using the titanium and diether tartrate and hydrogen peroxide or tricyclic hydrogen peroxide the combination but he came out instead of allylic alcohol he taken the enol as a hydrogen as a substrate hydrogen peroxide as a oxidant and they taken dpp otms as a catalyst to make the chiral epoxides almost single anion isomer is a beautiful one and uh, ujiro ayashi he synthesized the dpp otms he went on utilized as a enamine formation or eminium formation different metal reaction uh, thio sulfonylation uh, you can see here the uh, ayashi was nitro methane addition to the enols under dpp otms catalysis able to get high anion source selectivity and converted this substrate as a very useful pharmaceutical useful material in medicinal chemistry pregabalin baclofen i think this is japanese uh, companies are using is protocol in large scale preparation also same time uh, from the harvard eric jacobson uh, in 2002 he developed the beautiful chiral thio ureas as a catalyst to make highly enantiomeric selective stacker reaction uh, hydrophosphorylation reaction a manic reaction uh, these catalysts is really given uh, very very uh, uh, inspirational uh, activation to the many chemists to think design the reaction in chiral hydrogen bonding catalysis uh, also same time tiber so from hungary he synthesized the thio urea catalyst from the singona alkaloid and this has become a popular chiral thio urea catalyst where you can generate the bronze synthesis of this catalyst and able to utilize in organic transformation to achieve high enantiomer selectivity reaction also same time viresh ravel from chicago he developed the very nicely hydrogen bond donor catalyst for the uh, asymmetric heterodyl sorter reaction and michael reaction and emination reaction here I, I, i have been able to show one of these catalysts we call it a chiral squiramide catalyst he prepared very simple manner this chiral squiramide with single alkaloid and squiramide and able to utilize as a very good catalyst for the asymmetric uh, uh, michael reactions 
And another scientist I'm happy to call here is right, Anders. Anders is well-known organic chemist. He developed a beautiful catalyst like a uh, axillary, so like a SAM, RAM in uh, organic chemistry where many industries also use for the asymmetric uh, alkylation reaction. He known, known for more is the NSC catalysis. That I'm not going to discuss today here. Uh, n netocycl carbene catalyst catalyzer organic transformation. But he able to come out a beautiful cascade reaction. You can see here, he has taken three substrate, aldehyde, enol, and nitrostyrene, using the DPP OTMS or opposite catalyst, he able to construct the very beautiful uh, four stereogenic centers containing cyclohexanes, exene, exenol. And this is the way subject goes. First, enamine chemistry. Then, enamine between these two will form this product. And this goes second, imenium chemistry. This is the donor and this is the um, uh, Michael Michael acceptor. will form the adduct and this is become enamine and will go all over it. It's a beautiful. In 2006, he published in Nature. And I'm very happy to say the work from the Professor Sogeva from the Germany. And she able to develop a beautiful cat thiourea catalyst. You can see in one catalyst, both donor acceptors are there. This is the donor react with the carbonyl to form the enamine. And this is the acceptor to activate the nitrostyrene to mark the Michaelite with very good E. And she also developed the auto catalysis concept in organocatalysis. Please visit her website to see a more beautiful work from uh, excellent work from our laboratory. And Donna Blackman, uh, she is from Scripps. Uh, she able to utilize the reaction focus kinetic analysis of this organocatalyzer reaction to explain, understand the what is the difference between primary catalytic species where enamines, imenium, dienamine, these species, and where secondary catalytic species. These are the, these are the called secondary catalytic species, or you can say parasitic species. These species is going to form during the enamine or imenium formation, and this can decrease the rate of the reaction or control the enantiomer selectivity. She able to explain very nicely using uh, kinetic studies and, uh, and experiments to prove these reaction mechanisms of organocatalysis reactions. Uh, I would like to say that this is the way story is after 2005. Uh, I have not mentioned the many people who is really working, pioneering work from other laboratories. Just I have taken the uh, glimpse of information where contributed. Here I would like to say uh, contribution from the India. Uh, the, the, the way organocatalysis is going on like this in, uh, in, in other country, what is going on in India? I would like to share with you. Yeah, as I told you, Professor Swaminathan from the University of Madras, he started reinvestigated the proline catalyst, the intramural allyl reaction, uh, where he has taken the triketone or his design molecule to understand the mechanistical approach and all. And he tried to explain, he didn't believe that his enamine species are going to form in the course of the reaction. He said that crystal lattice of the proline only involving in the reaction like that he believed that. And Professor Basoya from our School of Chemistry, and he, uh, from the 1980s onwards, he started working in understanding of the tertiary amine catalyzed uh, CC bond formation that is called uh, uh, bell selman reaction. I can say he rediscovered the importance of the bell selman reaction in the organic chemistry. And after his rediscovery of this chemistry, many people started using uh, this tertiary uh, amine catalyzed the bell selman reaction. And from the Vijay Nair from the NIST, he also developed the beautiful reaction using NSC catalyzed reaction. Uh, please visit his website. And uh, Professor Vinod K. Singh from the IIT Kanpur uh, in 2006 2007, he developed the beautiful catalyst. You can see here, he developed this uh, amide catalyst, uh, amine alcohol catalyst from the proline and able to demonstrate an all reaction between with a single anion shoma. Even in the brain, also you can able to produce with cyclic ketone in the single anion shoma. You can see here the, the transient state he explained. In the proline catalysis, only OH only will involve hydrogen bonding with incoming electrophile. But here is NHOH, both are there. He able to hold very tightly the incoming electrophile. Incoming electrophile have no chance to go to bottom side. It has to come exclusively to have enjoyment of interaction with the two edges. That's the way he designed the beautiful catalyst and demonstrated. 
and later the entire organic community even to call is is a zinc catalyst and from the bergesel from the germany he synthesized the the zinc catalyst in gram scale in one part manner by just a production deproduction chemistry you can see here able to make this is a very good manner and from the ncl pool from the ncl pool at the pradeep kumar he able to utilize this organic catalyst with aminoxalation reaction in application in natural product total synthesis he really explained excellently this reaction importance in natural product synthesis and uh, shantanu mukherjee uh, who did phd with benjamin list he joined ias bangalore he able to demonstrate one of excellent enantiomer selective formal uh, ch alkylation reaction this is the one i, I really appreciate this work and i request you to visit his website to see more of his some of his excellent work and is uh, subhash chandra pond he is also did phd with uh, professor benjamin list he joined iit guwahati he also did practicing this organo catalysis uh, by utilizing the thio urea dpo dms for constructing the functionally rich molecules in high enantiomer selectivity because of the time uh, I, I, i am not in the position to discuss about the other great people work in my country but uh, last year we wrote a very nice review on status of asymmetric catalysis in india during the last 10 years uh, especially vk singh work of professor jain murthy professor periya sami uh, kumar swami even professor ramakrishna peddinti he developed the beautiful uh, catalyst by sugar based sugar backbone catalyst he developed and investigated the michael manick reaction allog reaction and i discuss in this uh, article and many especially indresh kumar and rama shastri you know uh, 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 biju from the iis bangalore or uh, uh, sunoj who from iit bombay he work in a critical aspects of organo catalysis i would request you uh, to go through this is a open access uh, journal you can, you can download this uh, pdf file to see how uh, asymmetric catalysis is going on uh, last one decade in our country uh, here if the time permits can i share some few slides of my laboratory work uh, professor ramakrishna garu yeah 2005 i joined as a faculty in university of hyderabad and uh, yeah i am i believe that this is the era Uh, when i am in when i am studying my bsc masters i used to see the the quality name reaction like till sader michael manick i used to feel like uh, you should develop a reaction like that where many organic chemists would use happily our reaction that is my passion so keeping that in the mind uh, taken the this the role in as a catalyst and we develop this uh, three component reductive coupling reaction Where you can take the cyclic one three diketone and you take different carbon and that may be aldehyde, that may be ketone, or uh, just to add the uh, NADPH mimicking molecule, NA anger sister, and with different solvent, even including water, able to make the bond between this carbon and this carbon, able to make the single bond. And we are working from last to 15, 16 years this reaction, and we are happy that. Uh, uh, we are able to show in application these products in many reactions and one this is the lasone the lasone is a key ingredient in the enna powder i hope uh, if people know how important the enna powder this lasone we use our reductive coupling chemistry and we synthesize the starting material we went on to investigate with this uh, uh, robinson annihilation reaction it went very interesting manner it didn't go classical rapid sonylation mode it went the different mode to synthesize this kind of benzo methyl benzo enolines where these are the key uh, compounds in uh, antibiotics uh, structures and we also demonstrated the intramolecular version where we did this synthesis of this material by using our reductive coupling we went on doing a vitic chemistry and we synthesized this uh, chiral uh, benzo bicyclo 3 to 1 octanes where you can show this is a key basic skeleton many antibiotics and we demonstrated this uh, this year uh, importance of the subject and here i would like to say uh, why this important of organo reductive coupling chemistry this is the propazylation chemistry we develop you can see when you want to do propazylation on cyclic one diketone you can see 40% yield 42% yield 39% yield 
only the highly designed cost substrate we have 99 percent but when you see application use application circuit keeping this in the mind we develop, utilize our radar coupling chemistry to synthesize the proposalation reaction on cyclic on the dipicone in the gram scale with almost more than 90 percent yields and I'm very happy to say that few years back, the Pfizer used a reductive coupling chemistry as a key reaction in synthesis of a full where this used as a hepatitis C virus inhibitor. And our reductive coupling used many organic chemists uh, in synthesis of the starting material or in total synthesis and the key step. Uh, I'm happy, very happy that that is the fashion for the organic chemist. Every organic chemist feel that this reaction should be able to utilize and sustainable for the other, other organic chemist by calling the name is the other one we developed the way is a functionalized one two three trial trial zones this is a very important i hope you all know i don't need to take much time on importance of this one and uh meldel sharp has developed the copper catalyzed the uh, three percent cyclo addition vetros developed the strain promoted click reaction but to be able to utilize the proline as a catalyst to make this three percent cyclo addition reaction in very good yield and very good selectivity and also we use the pyrrolidine as the catalyst also to develop the precursor cycle addition reaction where we demonstrated the importance in medicinal chemistry. And uh, instead of the alkane, alkane with costly, and we have taken the corresponding estol DAs and using the DBU as a catalyst, we developed the precursor cycle addition chemistry, very good yield and high selectivity, the high sustainable manner. We have taken the ketones also, corresponding ketones, we developed the 145 tri substituted where the sharpless click chemistry, copper chemistry can't give the tri-substituted one, but our carbonyl chemistry able to give tri-substituted one in very good yield. And we demonstrated medicinal chemistry. This is also later the Jain Wang from the China, Bresci from the France. They also demonstrated very nicely the different catalysts, different substrate, the importance of this organo catalytic 3 plus cycle addition for the click reaction. And I'm very happy that presently they are utilizing nicely in medicinal chemistry. And we also developed the in situ catalytic uh, amino enines, able to demonstrate how important in uh, asymmetric catalytic reactions. Uh, in, in the process of that, one of the importances here is in organocatalysis, uh, up to now we try to use the simple substrate. But when you go in the more functionalized substrate, how chemistry? Uh, this is the Barbas uh, Michael reaction with this catalyst. But if you go simple uh, hydroxy group, but chemistry didn't go. For that, we try to understand the different catalysts, but chemistry didn't go. But uh, this is the, we came out with the importance of the supramolecular organocatalysis. We need to design the substrate-substrate interaction, substrate-catalyst interaction, other catalyst-substrate interaction. Instead of one catalyst, if you take two catalysts or more than two catalysts, can able to make the synergetically more number of interactions between catalyst and substrate. And our concept worked well, and we were able to achieve the high enhancer selectivity, diastereo selectivity by combination of thiourea proline. And we did the control experiment, and we demonstrated uh, formation of this uh, catalytic uh, pre transitions intermediates, pre intermediates through ESA mass analysis, and we proposed the uh, pre transition state like that. This a good number of interactions are involving. You see, this OH is involving hydrogen bonding with the carbonyl, and H is hydrogen bonding with the quinylamide, and thiourea hydrogen bonding with the nitrostarate. This completely become cluster in cyclic 19 membered pre transition state model. And this is the uh, this is the supramolecular organocatalysis and really useful to understand the uh, pre transition state theory of the catalysis. The industrial applications also is very good, uh, is emerging from the organocatalysis. I can show here is uh, this is the from the uh, Agonicell Therapeutics used this uh, DPPODMS catalyst the intra uh, uh, as a Michael reaction is a key step to synthesize the drug molecule uh, roxalitimine and this is used in uh, bone marrow disorders as a drug molecule. This is using in industry in large scale and recently Peng and Lee and also Carlo now they published the very quality reviews chemical society review in last month and physical science reviews and importance of this asymmetric organocatalysis in uh, pharmaceutical and medicinal chemistry. I would request you to uh, visit these uh, papers to see importance, uh, growth, increasing growth of this asymmetric organocatalysis in medicinal chemistry. 
yes in my conclusion i am behalf of organic chemist of this row very thankful to nobel committee 2021 for choosing the chemistry nobel prize for asymmetric organic catalysis who pioneered the uh, benjamin list and david macmillan uh, for this award and but um, i am uh, to say that one another pioneer is missing in this list is the professor carlos barbas uh, he also should be there in this list but uh, you know the fate is a very early left the planet so he is in the swargalok so that's why he could not able to share in this list uh, but no problem uh, we are very happy to enjoy this uh, nobel prize for aesthetic organic chemistry but still i feel that we need to expand the library of sustainable organic catalysts and need to expand the substrate scope we ought to go up to now whatever using the small small functional substrate we need to go more functional substrate the scope also need to increase and need to expand the more number of green sustainable bond formation reaction to organo catalysis same time need to decrease the organo catal loadings to ppm or ppb parts per million or parts per billion level as similar to the nature or even better than nature also same time need to expand the more number of industrial pharmaceutical applications to organo catalysis uh, that's what i believe that lot more is there whatever this nobel prize is given is the just the basic development of the understanding of organic catalysis lot more is there to come with the future generations uh, to understand and develop the completely is a metal free revolution of the uh, bond formation in organic chemistry i am very much thankful to my students uh, phd postdocs and my collaborators uh, especially my funding agency like dst Uh, i am very happy from uh, you know india uh, I, I, without dst crb i cannot imagine my research so that much i am thankful to crb and ugc csr and our university of hyderabad and ioe thank you for your patience uh, listening my lecture thank you uh, thank you professor ramachari that was splendid presentation and i hope that the students uh, Might, might have enjoyed with the, this chronological order of the events in organocatalysis, and uh, I'm sure no, it might have brought them deeper into this area. Uh, thank you once again for this informative and thought-provoking lecture. Thank you. Now the floor is open, and uh, for questions and comments, I request the audience to be very brief while uh, asking the questions. Yeah, maybe till that time, uh, may I ask you something? Please, please. Yeah, I, just I, I would like 30, to know. Thirty minutes extra. Thank you for your kindness Thank to you. give uh, some some extra minutes to me, Professor Ramakrishna. Oh, no, no, you are most welcome. Mm -hmm. Just uh, we'd like to know uh, what are the limitations for the uh, catalyst based on primary amines when compared to the secondary amines uh, from your experience. Well, is the uh, that's the word. Is the primary amine? Uh, it, it has a very good reactivity to form first imine formation only the catalyst regeneration will take little time so regeneration it, it needs little uh, more time for the catalyst regeneration that's why I prefer for the secondary amine or uh, amino acids compared to primary okay. that's why Thank we need you. to go a little bit uh, addition of the little water combination little water that is there and it can facilitate the imenium e e enamine formation regeneration of the catalyst will facilitate good matter i uh, there is a question from uh, uh, dr bhupendra tiwari yeah you can maybe you can read uh, professor ramit sagar yeah, yeah. yeah where do, where do we see the field uh, this field over the next two decades or so absolutely is the next two decades definitely we are going to see the beautiful uh, catalyst loadings will go down uh ppm ppb level so that is a very is a even more beautiful than enzyme catalysis we can see and also substrate scope will increase drastically we can we can we can have a confidence of utilizing different substrates functional substrate and also i can see uh, the further expansion of the organo catalyst to other uh, the supramol organo catalyst like a combination of the organo catalyst to increase the rate and selectivity of the asymmetric reaction that point of also be going to increase is there excellent future is there in the future for organo catalysis
So any other questions from the audience? So maybe it may be the time to conclude. I request uh, Professor Justin Thomas to give his vote of thanks. Yeah, thank you very much, Professor Ramakrishna Pedindi, for giving me an opportunity to propose the vote of thanks. It's my pleasure uh, to give the vote of thanks. Let me start with the organizers. I am very much thankful on behalf of the Department of Chemistry, IIT Rurki, to the Institute Lecture Series organizers, particularly Professor Anil Gaurshetty. The proposal for this excellent presentation came from Professor Anil Gaurshetty. He was asking some nominations of names for these presentations. There are few names that came to me. One was Professor Ramachari's name, considering his involvement in the field and contribution to the field which fetched Nobel Prize in this year. And I would like to thank on behalf of the Institute Lecture Series Committee as well as on behalf of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Ramachari for giving this excellent talk, kindly agreeing to give the talk. We wanted to have it in an offline mode, but due to the situation, prevailing situation in the country as well as in uh, elsewhere, we were not able to have an offline meeting, but uh, it was a wonderful event. Thank you, Professor Ramachari, for a nice presentation. Thank you. And I also would like to take this opportunity to thank all the student participants and faculty who participated in this event and then made this event a memorable event. Thank you all. Thank you, Professor Justin. I am very much uh, thankful to come over here and uh, I really appreciate Dr. Anil and uh, Professor Ramakrishna and um, Dr. Ram, Ram Yadav who really taken care nicely from last one week onwards. They guided me how to come to IIT Roorkee to online mode. <laughs> I felt very happy. Thank you once again. And um, once I, next time, maybe I will come the offline mode and happy to interact with all of your faculty and students and had a good time next time. Yeah, we will certainly have an opportunity for your personal visit. Definitely. So, so students have any questions, you can ask me. I think uh, they may be feeling hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, already 720 itself. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> Fine. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will uh, uh, close the meeting now. Sure. Thank you once again. Thank you, Anilgar. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.